Hey, what's up guys and gals, Rick Knight G here. Thank you so much for joining me. Look at this. Don't tell me that this isn't a screenshot, guys and gals. I'm gonna show you sheep and wool farming. Well, of course, how to farm wool from sheep and so forth. I'm gonna show you all the equipment that you need, what to get started. Don't get scared by all of this equipment. If you have no idea what's going on, this is the time to look and pay attention because I will show you, it is very simple. Let's start over here. You need a good tractor. You can definitely use the one that you started out with. You need to make it a front attachment. Now I'm going to show you lots of equipment, but remember you can get this at minimum or better. Okay, of course, but I'm just going to show you kind of starting out what you need. So in order to add a front attachment, which is basically to pick up the wool pallets and to also have the scoop so you can take care of their cleanliness, you have to um, get a front attachment or a telehandler, but this is the cheapest way to do it. So you go over here, you hit customize, and you have to make sure when you buy it or you bring it over here to the store into this area and you hit yes and now you have just bought for eight hundred dollars some hooks these are the hooks that you have oh hello hi she's cute anyway um, these hooks go over here and basically what you can do now you can add the front attachment so that is very 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 important to know that yes when you have this front attachment now this has turned a tractor into a kind of a, a new machine where you can pick things up. Pretty cool stuff. Now, uh, yes, I have the bucket over there and I have the, uh, the pallet fork. You buy the pallet fork. You can find that in the front attachment part of the store. And then you also have this uh, bucket, which you find there as well. And that is helpful for um, just making sure that your sheep are clean. More equipment that you need you need an animal trailer if you want to bring your sheep from the place that you buy them to your farm or you can just pay the fee which is two hundred dollars per sheep starting out I would recommend just paying it but if you want to get that you can definitely start out with this trailer it's the nine animal trailer you can fit nine in there and then this one you can fit 21 that's nuts and so to pull that one you of course need a big big semi uh, to pull this one you can definitely use this tractor as well you're also going to need a loading wagon to pick up some grass and then you're going to need a mower which was here and disappeared i'll get that in a minute and then you'll also need a trailer here uh, a water trailer basically a water tank and you can fill that up let's get to it and let's get moving all right everyone so here's where you want to go to pick up your animals of course we're doing sheep but you can pick up your cows and uh, your pigs here as well just want to show you at the lower right hand side mary's farm at that cow icon that's where you go you hit r basically you buy as many sheep as you want here we're gonna buy just fill up the whole trailer so actually whoa you can put 10 in here cool um you can actually see them in there but if you press n you can actually look completely in here there's no real way to choose color this is just what you get but it's really cool they're all nice and friendly and all crammed in there I think you you could get nine pigs I don't know how many cows but this is focused on the sheep so let's head back to our sheep area drop them off and I'll show you what to do afterwards alright everyone so we are here at our sheep little enclosure area our sheep part of the farm if you look at our map pretty much we are in the middle to the left hand side right near the uh, body of water there and here's what you do you drop them off over here you are gonna press R and then you're gonna hit unload and you unload as many as you want or all of them and then you hit confirm you say yes and they pretty much just pop into your field that's about it that's how you get your sheep here how do you feed them how you take care of them well I'm gonna show you right now alright so now it is time to collect grass for our little sheep over there who are super super hungry so I have a mower just attached to the front very simple mower it only costs 11,000 any old tractor would do as long as it has a front and rear hitch you had a loading wagon and I don't have any grass in there oh yeah 208 so very little so I'm gonna just lower everything lower all the implements turn them all on and just drive wherever you see grass basically you start to pick it up now I'm not gonna wait to fill everything up so we'll just head back to the sheep over there and I'll show you where to drop it off and how to finish that job with their food and then that's it this is all you need to do to take care of your sheep in terms of the food it is very easy um, there's one other thing having to do with cleanliness which I'll show you in a bit you get over here and then you just press I and that's it 
that goes into their little bin there and you can put six days worth of food uh, for the amount of sheep that you have in there. So pretty easy and pretty simple to do. All right, then you wanna grab your tractor with the front attachment uh, and the scoop. And if you'll notice, let me just go over here. You actually have a bar that shows you uh, how many sheep you have, your productivity, which is at zero, which is kind of unfortunate. Let me just speed up time. The reason is because it takes some time to refresh these numbers sometimes. It tells you how long before they reproduce. There we go, 97 productivity. Reproduction rate is every 17 hours I will get a sheep and my next animal will be in four hours. Now, wool is just starting to be produced, as you can see. Cleanliness will start to go down as time goes by. That basically means that you need to clean up after them. How do you do that? You get that scoop and you see all this grass kind of not in their little, um, basically in their trough, but you see it right on the side that scrape the floor with the, with the thing. It might take a little bit of passes. There we go. You see how it's all scooped up. If you missed anything, just go back. And then this you can dump somewhere else or dump right back in the trough. I usually put it in the trough or I put it in my loading wagon and that's about it. And it will, there we go, C96. So I just got to get that little rest done. And then that's it. That boosts your productivity to the highest point. And now you got to give them water. So let me just show you that. And now to actually give some drink to your sheep. I have the Joskin tanker back here. Filled pretty much to the top with water. You can fill it up in any stream and any river that you find. Or there's water fountains surrounding pretty much the entire map. You just go and you find one. Um, if you get it from like a lake or a natural body of water, it's free. Uh, you just press R and basically it unloads. Oh, excuse me, I. And it unloads and that's basically it. It's full already so it didn't really unload many. And that's about it guys and gals. Let me just show you what to do with the wool when it is uh, completed. And then that's it. You are into sheep farming. All right, so I've just switched out the front attachment. I'll just attach it again. So I unattach the scoop and I'm gonna attach this over here. You just get a bale trailer. Um, I, I forgot to mention that, but yeah, it's very inexpensive. It's just $12,000 uh, to basically carry your wool. Now you wanna wait till this is full. I'm not gonna do that just because uh, for demonstration purposes, but basically uh, you have to make sure you uh, fork it pretty nicely. Uh, you want to make sure you take your time. I've had a little bit more experience doing this. Um, so I maybe do it a little quicker than you, but that's okay. I'm going to place this on top. And you can load as many as you want or as many as can fit, obviously. Uh, in case that you don't want them to fall down or anything, you can actually strap this down. And let us see. Strap. Hello. Strap. Actually, here's one way to strap them. You actually get in your tractor and you attach it to the trailer and then you press L when it's attached and it'll fasten pretty much whatever you have on there pretty nicely if you want to unattach it you can press L while you're in the tractor or you can just simply go over here and press R oh excuse me not R I keep saying R yeah there we go it is correct R now just letting you know that you can rock this back and forth pretty violently and your pallets will not come out, which is pretty good. That's kind of why they're there, the strap. So it's a great, great addition to Farming Simulator 17. This wasn't in 15 previously. And then we have uh, over here on the map, basically you drive from 11 all the way south to the spinnery. And that's about it, guys and gals. All you gotta do is unload it and get that in there. You can just drive through there, but I would honestly just recommend um, unattaching this baby and doing it yourself manually let me just do it just to show you you know the difficulty level I could have pressed L when I was attached or just hit R it unattaches I get in there as well I just got to make sure pretty much it's like a little mini game oh you don't want to do that you want to go really slow you want to make sure you get it right into the spaces and as long as you grab it there you are good and then you just place it in this space and then you should be getting money. Of course, I'm not gonna get tons. I got a thousand though. That's pretty good for what I had. Um, thank you so much guys and gals for watching. If this helped you, if you wanna see more tutorials like this, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what else would you like to see. It would really make a big difference to my channel. If you do wanna see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys and gals next time. Don't forget, be hopeful.